Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. I need all my black sisters and brothers to stand with me and tell these people I am black and y'all would have me over for a hangout, chill, barbecue, um, go basketball shooting with me, uh, baseball, fishing, I don't know, we do a lot of things, but I'm black. Please let them know I am black so they get off my back. I am a hundred percent black. I don't know what else to tell y'all. I look black, I act black, I everything black. Like, I'm just black. Yeah, I'm blacker than black. But I'm gorgeous. I guess in a world where you're supposedly able to change your gender, him saying that nah, he's a black person is not that surprising. And if you say otherwise to him, you're a bigot and you're racist. Are you single or in a relationship? Um, <laughs> not gonna answer that one. You wanna get in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah are you single or in a relationship? Relationship. What are? Did you say that? Huh? No, we're not. Y'all aren't together? That's what she said. Okay, anyways, let's keep him out. Bye bye. Yo, this guy's gonna make you Snapchat fucking famous. Keep going, keep going. I'm gonna be the victim, buddy. Uh -uh. You're gonna be the victim? Yeah, you know how it is. Like, you always see these, like, sad ass. You always feel bad for him. Chicks, they say for like six months we're in a relationship and then they say on camera they're not. I, I always feel bad for those guys. It looks like I was one. That's gonna get you some views. That's some real ass shit and you fucking know it, boss. Thank you. Right, I, hey, hey, I needed you more than you ever knew. Hey, don't leave yet, bro. That was crazy. I genuinely don't feel sorry for men like him. There are always red flags and there would have been red flags to tell you that she would say nonsense like this. But because men have become so weak nowadays, they put up with nonsense like this and then get embarrassed by people like this. What are we protesting? We're protecting trans lives. That's what it's about. You should be able to transition at nine years old. If they want. Trans lives matter. Let's transition kids. You want to cut out the kids? If they don't want it. Let's cut out the kids. Everyone. They should cut it off. Yeah. You have a really small dick energy but the thing is like, i get to keep mine i'm not cutting mine off he spoke facts oh i caught her talking to other men and she won't get out of my car now she's crying so i caught her talking to other dudes oh wow that must be sad god that must be terrible oh man what were their names again I love how you said they were just your friends and you were sending them ass pictures. Get the fuck out of my car. The only reason she's crying is because she got caught. Do you know why you say the term good morning? Let's take it back to the plantation. A good morning was a term that the slave master used when a slave was unalived. And the other slaves were in a state of grief when they were a state of mourning. They were crying. They were sad to further taunt the rest of the slaves. The slave master would say, good morning. And then he would want them to say it back. This is why I do not say the term good morning. We say grand risings, rich risings, abundant risings, glorious risings. We do not want to use that verbiage. Mourning literally means sadness. It's very important to know why you use the words you do. I don't know if you realize, but there are two different meanings to the word morning and morning. And if you're not smart enough to see that, I don't know what can help you. But yeah, I guess in today's world, as per usual, being a victim is seen as a badge of honor, so people like to play victim. Before we get back into the video, I need everyone to turn on their post notifications so that you get notified whenever one of my videos come out. Like the video as much as possible, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter at Yinka that Guy. Let us get back into the video. There are boys that have uteruses too, like me, and I'm really, really starting to get frustrated seeing all these super dope rallies happening, Kamala and everyone advocating for abortion rights, rightfully so, because women and people who have uteruses need to have access to that kind of healthcare, that essential health healthcare. But I am tired of people 
leaving trans masculine and non-binary folks out of the conversation because it's not just women who this conversation impacts. If you are watching this, you feel like you need to comment something like, boys don't have uteruses, you're a female. This isn't for you, okay? This conversation isn't for you because clearly you're not here to listen or try to understand. This is for the stands, the allies. Could you imagine how iconic it would have been if Megan Thee Stallion got up on that fucking stage at the Kamala Harris rally in fucking Atlanta and was shaking her ass? talking about women and people with uteruses. Women deserve rights to their body and people with uteruses. The right would have lost their GD minds. Anyways, I'm not expecting the Kamala Harris's of the world to see this video, but if you are an ally and you stand for the gays, women and people with uteruses, because not everyone who has a uterus identifies as a woman. Being a mother is the hardest job out, the most <laughs> difficult job. And <laughs> Oprah said that. Oprah said that, yeah. Has, yeah. That, has your opinion oh, on, that, so on that phrase changed at all since no. you had a kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not the most difficult job on the planet. It just isn't. What, being, being a mother? I did roofing in July. I almost, as a redhead, I almost died. There's people. There's people that work on like oil. What was that movie that guy made? The oil, the, the fucking, you know, they there drill will be blood. oil. What is it? There will be blood. With Not the... there will be blood. The uh, out in the ocean, they would drill. I can never remember the names. Deepwater. Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, was Deepwater in. Horizon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys were working on on an oil rig. The fucking thing blows up. <laughs> They're on fire. <laughs> they got to jump into water that's on fire. Right. Salty water into their wounds. You got to swim out of that oil and fire, and then tread water. Praying to God that the Coast Guard is going to get there before the sharks do. Now talk to me about a toddler. Oh, he was so fussy today. I just, he wouldn't eat his peas. We get it. Feminists are trying to make what women do seem more harder than it actually is. And I applaud all the people who have had to go through childbirth because it's a very admirable and needed thing in society. But to say that it's the hardest job in the world is just pure stupidity and pure Cold. Yeah, I do. I have an itch right here. Can you itch it for me? Oh. That's not very feminine to want to fist fight people. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm not, I'm not a woman. I'm a man. All right. I'm more right. man than right. you are. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we agree on something. I mean, <laughs> we agree. Look. Yeah. I don't know if everyone has seen the video on my channel where another trans woman was going to attack another woman and claiming he's going to be a man when he's attacking her. It seems like this is a new thing coming up where trans women are claiming they're men when they want to engage in violence, which is very hilarious. Dear vegans, if you love animals so much, then why do you eat all their food? Getting tips with Granny. Pardon? Do you have plus sizes at this location or no? Okay, thank you. Northridge? Okay, thank you. Hi. Um, do you have plus sizes at this location? Uh, the, the biggest size you carry in the store is double XL. Okay, thank yeah. you. Pardon? Do you have your plus sizes at the store at this location yes, or no? Yes, it's all the way to the double XL. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. Do you have plus sizes in store at this location or no? We do one, but only certain items. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think in store goes up to three X. Three X? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank on you. On everything. It should be on everything. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Pardon? Do you all have plus sizes at this location or no? Sorry. Do you have plus sizes in store or no? Okay. Thank you. No worries. I guess I should start complaining as well when I can't find trousers that are long enough for me because I'm taller than the average man. But I wouldn't do that because I'm not a victim and I don't complain about everything. When people watch The Hate You Give, what, what do you want them to walk away with? Because I know everyone has a slightly different feeling. Um, well, I mean, white people crying actually was the goal. Um, <laughs> we... <laughs> Now let's reverse the roles and see what would happen if this was said by another race. 99.9% .9 of bricklayers are men. Should we have quotas for women? Is bricklaying representative democracy? That has nothing to do with the question. The question is if there's evidence of structural inequality and oppression because women aren't precisely represented at 50% in all professions at all levels, 
then why don't we have a conversation about having women represented in all professions at all levels? Well, we why do we talk about the C-suite, for example? Why do we talk about politics and positions of power? Why don't well, we talk about it across the board? Okay. That's because We're it's power. Feminists don't care about equality, they care about superiority. I think when I was a wing, I had integrity, okay? It wasn't like trains being ran. I told myself, I'm like, okay, I have to know a guy for a minimum six months before I'm intimate with them. That was like my rule and I thought I was being like, I am religious. I'm so religious. Oh my God. I'm basically a hijabi because I'm waiting six months. The fact that she can put hoeing and integrity in the same sentence just goes to show you how devoid of reality she is. There was a time when people used to feel shame to say things like this and now they get in front of cameras in front of thousands, if not millions of people to say this nonsense. Does the perfect man exist? I don't know yet. I have a man right now that spoils me, but I don't want to date him. Why not? He's five, six. I don't even want to touch him, so. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's just buying me like Cartier and I'm like, thank you. As I've said before, I truly do not feel sorry for men like this because they truly need to learn the hard way because they're enabling the type of nonsense that women like this see. Women can do it on their own. We don't have to shut the fuck up, bro. If that's what you like, then get what you like and good luck. I hope you find it. Maybe one... I like something else and I hope I find it too. Good luck to both. Maybe one billionaire outside of Oprah that did it on her own. I, I don't know. I don't keep up. There isn't one. <laughs> Tell you about the richest women in the world. Google that shit. Guess where they got their riches from? Divorce. That means they didn't do it on their own. Success is a team sport. No matter how you think about it, a man needs a woman. Hold on. A man needs a woman just as much as a woman needs a man. That's all a woman can do about himself. Shit is what's wrong with the fucking culture today. We need each other equally. See, I can look at you and say, you know what, ma'am? You're gonna see things that I don't see in a situation, and that's valuable to me. You know what I say, also, ma'am? That you're gonna pay attention and you're gonna see the world differently than I do. So that's gonna be valuable for me. I can say to you, I can look at you and say, your strengths are my weaknesses and vice versa and that's value to me how is it so hard for you to see the value in me though i understand that you got a bins i got a bins too i have value too so all i'm saying is we can see the value in women but as soon as women start getting some money it's like they forget who the fuck got them put them in position to make because last time i checked the last time i checked most of these businesses that these women are making all this money for were ran and owned by men only fans you know who made that a man lip gloss you know who made that a man Hair weave, you know who created that? I'm in. Mercedes Benz, I'm in. So how are y'all getting so goddamn high strung on your high horses about niggas ain't shitty, you don't need a nigga when everything of your existence was created by a man? Men need women and women need men, but in today's world of independent women and feministic ideologies, women are claiming that they don't need men, while basically everything that they use was made by men. But apparently they don't need them though. It means you are, you are born with a vagina, you can have children, you have a uterus. When you are a male, you are born with a penis, you can, you can get, you get a woman pregnant. These words have real meanings. We cannot suddenly get into society where there are no truths. So, so to acknowledge a social construct does not mean that we ignore biology. And it doesn't, it doesn't mean that we don't have... Can men get pregnant? Uh, depends. I know, I know... What does I, it depend on? I know trans men that can get pregnant. That, that means it's a woman. Only one sex well, can that, get that's pregnant. That's a circular argument. That's it's not a circular the pregnant. argument. Yeah. It's proving my thing. There is a truth, a concrete truth. You have to be born with a uterus to have a baby. Only women can get pregnant. The fact that we've arrived in a society right, that's the part I'm disagreeing with. That's the part I'm disagreeing There's with. There's nothing to disagree with it. These are facts. So you can say that this person who is pregnant identifies as a man. That person was born a woman. I can tell you that every single time because only women can have sex because there are concrete truths about life. Have babies. That it, that, can, can, I mean, can have uh, babies, pardon. And that, that is a hard truth about life. You cannot make that go away because you want to call a man, somebody who has a beard and dresses like a dude a woman. Only if it's pregnant, I'll, I can tell you exactly what it is. It's a woman. My nigga. <laughs>